Okay, so we're going to do um, an example uh, just to uh, help to show these Excel functions. So um, imagine you have um, seven flowers in pots and um, you're interested in their heights. And we have one flower which is in a group of zero to four centimeters, um, three flowers that are in a group of four to eight centimeters, and then two flowers in a group of twelve sorry six to sorry eight to twelve centimeters, and the final flower there um, by itself in a group of twelve to sixteen centimeters. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll have our Excel spreadsheet here um, and we're going to have the heights in groups there and the frequencies, so the, the number of plants in each group in the next uh, column across there. So 1, 3, 2 and 1. Um, 1, fr whoops, uh, 3, 2 and 1. Um, and then the midpoint of the um, height, so 0 to 4, the midpoint is 2, 4 to 8, we've got 6, 12, sorry, 8 to 12, 10, 12 to 16, 14 centimetres. And then in this column, we're going to have the cumulative frequency, okay? So that's equal to um, the frequency, and then the next one is the first frequency plus the se second frequency, and the third one is equal to um, the sum of all of these frequencies. Um, and then the fourth one uh, is equal to the sum of all of the frequencies. And that's equal to the total number of flowers we've got there. Okay, so that's the example we've got. And um, now I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna, well, first of all, I'll show you how to do the cumulative frequency on Excel. So, um, you want to type into D2, which is this cell right here, um, sum dollar D dollar two. Um, so the dollars um, make it an absolute value, so that's locked. That won't move relative uh, to your copying. And then colon D2. So as you copy down, um, this one will change to D3, D4, D5, etc. And then you'll get the sums. Um, between the first entry and the entry relative, okay? And so you want to copy that down to D5. Okay, so that's how you get your cumulative frequency column. Okay, now I need to tell you about two functions in Excel, okay? And they're pretty easy um, to, to think about, um, so don't get panicked or whatever. Um, so the first one is match. So I've just got an example... Um, Excel grid here and it's number and cost so just imagine something like number of sweets and the cost to buy the sweets okay so if you want to buy one one sweet it's 20p um, two sweets it's 35p four sweets 50p and five sweets 60p okay so th this function is called match and what you can do with um, match is you can find um, find uh, an entry close to the one you put in. So I'll just explain. So just for example, if I had match 0 0.4, okay, um, that's the, the number we're looking for, okay, and then the, the place we're looking for it, okay, is um, between, in the column, between B2 and B5, okay, so there's B2 uh, right there, and there's B5, and we're looking for 0 0.4. Okay, unfortunately, it's not there, right? But what you do is uh, you can use this match type, which is one. Okay, now what that means, this this um, function will give you back the uh, row position in the selected area. So, just stay with me for a minute, okay? So it will give you the row function previous to it. So this is our area between B two and B5 okay and I'll look we're looking for 0 0.4 which isn't there and because we're using match type 1 it will give you the, the value which is previous to 
0 0.4 okay so in this case it's the second entry in that selected area okay right so um, another example because this is wordy okay so our lookup value is 4.5 our area which we're looking in okay is from a2 down to a5 okay and our um, lookup type is 1 so it's going to give you the previous value to this okay and it's going to give you the uh, the uh, the number the row, uh, the 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 column num no the row number um, in this in this selected area okay so in this case it's one two three because four is the is the previous value to four point five okay so that's gonna that's gonna give you three because it's the third position in the selected area. Okay, from selected areas from A2 to A5, and it's the third position there, okay, and it's the value which is before 4.5, okay, and it, it, your data has to be organised in ascending order, okay, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, just for, for um, uh, no, actually, forget that, that last one, um, that's, forget that, that part, I won't do that one. Okay, so all of that is correct there. Okay, um, now another function, okay, we're going to look at here is the index function. Okay, now the index function, um, all it does, okay, is it gives you back the value that's actually in the cell, okay, at a particular location. So if we have index, now the area we're interested in, okay, is from A2. Okay, across and down to B5. Okay, so that's the area we're, lo we're looking at. All of these numbers in here. Okay, basically all numbers. Okay, two is the row. Okay, so it's the, the, the row number in the selected area. Okay, so it's the second row and the first column. So second row and the first column we're in. And so that will give you back a value of two. Okay, same... Uh, Similar thing here, okay, another example. Selected area again, A2 through to B5, okay. And this time we're gonna go third row, second column, and so the value it's gonna give you back is 0 0.5, that's all. And, and just uh, just for um, kicks and giggles, all right, looking at the area A1 this time, which is right up there, okay, through B5, okay, we're gonna go first row, first column, and so the data it's going to give you back is actually the word number, okay, because it's whatever's in that cell, okay? Right. Okay, so we've looked at the match function and the index function, and now we're going to use them to find the median, okay? So, the first question I want um, to ask is in which row is the median, okay? And for this we're going to use the match function. To find which row the median is, okay, we use a match function, and the first argument, remember, is the lookup value, okay, and the lookup value in this case is going to be um, the total number of flowers here, so dollar d dollar five, okay, um, comma, and then this is the area that we're looking in with the match function, so d two down to d five, okay. The lookup type is type 1, which you remember um, gives you the previous value to the lookup value. Now if we do that in this case, all right, we find that we've got 7 divided by 2, okay, it's 3.5, and, and we're getting the, and, we, and uh, this match function here, because it's this uh, lookup type 1, will give us the previous value. Okay, so in this uh, selected area, okay, this match function will tell you that it's in row one. Okay, um, but that's not true. <laughs> so what we have to do is basically we add on one. Okay, so um, that will tell us um, that it's not in uh, row one of the selected area. Okay, it's actually in row two. 
and that turns out um, to be correct because in row two um, the uh, height band there is four to eight and if we look back at our flowers okay the one in the middle there lives in the band four to eight okay and the actual median in this case is easy to see because the median is actually the midpoint of this group four to eight okay right so this trick will tell you the row that the median lives in for Excel okay so now how do we find the actual median value um, and we know in this case because it's easy because it's the uh, the second row and the median value is the midpoint height there which is six okay but how do we how do we do it so we're going to use the index function so remember the index function okay um, tells you um, what the value uh, what the value is in the cell within the area given okay at a certain row and a certain column okay so to find uh, the value in the cell we put in the area we're looking in C2 down to C5 that's the area we're looking in okay and then the row well we just did it okay and so that's the row there we use a match function dollar D, uh, dollar five over to um, comma in the area here and then we add on that one which is important and then the lookup type oh sorry we add on one there okay and then the finally finally we have a comma and that one is um, is uh, is the column that the median is in so that will give you this index its index function will give you um, the uh, it will give you the value in the cell which is in um, row number whatever this says and column number one okay and column number one in our area is this one here which is where the, the uh, mid value heights are and so that's what it's going to give you back so this one this match function here in this case will give you um, row number two and then we want it in column number one and so it's going to give you back six which is our median value I hope that makes help, uh, makes sense. I hope it helps. All right, and um, let us know if you um, if I can help you any more. Okay. Cheers. Bye.